So here we got, so here we can write it as x square plus 2x plus 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. After that, take the common factor outside the bracket. The x square 2x will x on common either. So you can write as x into x plus 2. From these two terms, take the common factor outside the bracket. Here 3 will come outside the bracket. We can write as 3 into x plus 2 equal to 0. So we got x plus 2 common in both. So we can write it as x plus 2 into x plus 3 equal to 0. After this, take one bracket equal to 0 and find out the value of x. x plus 2 equal to 0. That is x is equal to minus 2. Second case, x plus 3 equal to 0. That is x is equal to minus 3. CB. So we got the value for x as minus 2 and minus 3. This is our answer. This is the factorization method. And next method is by using quadratic formula. Our second method is by using quadratic formula. A standard form of quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. And the quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Here b is the coefficient of x, a is the coefficient of x square and c is the constant. For example, let us take the same equation. That is x square plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. Here a is the coefficient of x square that is equal to 1. B is the coefficient of x that is equal to 5 and C is the constant that is equal to 6. Here our formula is x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Here. So here value of b is 5, substitute the value minus 5 plus or minus root of 5 square minus 4 into a is 1 into c is 6. 4 into 1 into 6 divided by 2 into a is 1, 2 into 1. Next line, minus 5 plus or minus root of 5 square is 25 minus 6 fours are 24 whole by 2. So our x is equal to minus 5 plus or minus root of 25 minus 24 is 1 whole by 2. From here we can split it as x is equal to minus 5 plus 1 by 2 or x is equal to minus 5 minus 1 by 2. That is square root of 1. It can be plus or minus 1. So here we can split it as minus 5 plus 1 by 2. And second one is minus 5 minus 1 by 2. So we got the value as minus 4. Minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4 by 2. That is equal to minus 2. And here x is equal to minus 6 by 2 that is equal to minus 3. Solution. So, so we got two solution for x that is minus 2 and minus 3. This is our answer. And this is the second method to find out the value of x in quadratic equation. That is value of the variable in quadratic equation. Sir. So in this video we have completed the introduction part of quadratic equation. In our next video, we will start the exercises. If you have any doubt in this video, please do comment in the comment box. If you like this video, please like and share it and subscribe my channel and see you in the next video.